Hey everyone, it's Ashley Joy, and I want to say congratulations. You made it to your first Friday of the first week. I am so proud of you. We are going to get started with a seven minute mobility stretch, but first we gotta get our music started. Welcome to your full body mobility workout today. All you need is a chair or a wall just to hold yourself up for the first two exercises. We're gonna get started with a forward and backwards leg swing. So the leg that is closest to the wall or what you're holding yourself up with is going to be the leg that's gonna be swinging. Now to your range of mobility, that depends on how high your leg comes up and how far it goes back. Keep core nice and tight and reach out and touch your toe. Nice. Now we're gonna switch legs. It's always gonna be the leg that is closest to the wall, okay? Let's go. We're stretching out our hamstrings, our hip flexors, Glutes are activated as well as your core. You can come up onto your toe if you would like or you can keep your foot nice and flat. One of my favorite stretches, activating your whole entire body. Back in my track days in college is exactly what we used to do. Now I wanna show you side to side. Hands are gonna be on the chair or on the wall and you're literally just going to take your leg out to the side and swing it. I like to come up onto my toe. So now we're stretching out our abductors and adductors. Full range of motion. Go to your mobility, flexibility. All right. Now let's switch legs. Last one. Woo! You can already feel my legs on fire sometimes. Keeping your core nice and tight. Even though it's a recovery day, nice and slow, active, keeping your body moving is really, really important. Last swing. One more. <laughs> All right, we are done with anything. If you brought something with you, a chair, you can let it go. We're gonna get into knee hugs. You're gonna stand nice and center. Make sure you're grounded and you have a great base. We're going to bring your knee into your chest. So you're gonna grab the front of your shin, bring your shoulder blades together, and drive your knee into your chest. Now, you may be here and that's where your stretch is and you feel it, that's totally fine. You can come up onto your toe as well. Full extension. Woo! One more. Good, now we're gonna take it down to the ground. Almost gonna get set up like it's pigeon pose. Bending your front leg at 90, your back leg is at 90 as well. You're gonna come up, push your hips forward, and we're gonna go back down. Now, if you need to put your hands down, that's totally fine. Hands down and come up. We're gonna do one side at a time. Pushing your hips forward. Now we're opening up our hips and keeping them active, stretching them out and we're activating them as well. Hips sometimes can be very, very tight, can cause stress, and cause you not to be able to, let's say, squat, your posture. Now we're gonna switch over to the other side. Same thing, 90 and 90. You're gonna come up and push your hips forward back down. This does not have to go quickly, okay? It's recovery, mobility, we're stretching, and honestly, we are strengthening at the same time. 
Good. Give me one more. All right, we're gonna come to a standing. We're gonna alternate front lunge. And then you're gonna rotate over the knee that is out. And then alternate, down and rotate. Get in a nice T-spine, woo! Rotation, there it is. Core nice and tight and move at your own pace. This does not have to be quick at all. Last one. All right, we're gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna go into a push-up position and push back into child's pose. So, you can be on your knees to do your push-up and then push back into child's pose. That's your option. You also can be up and then push back. Making sure those knees go outwards. You can drop your knees down to the ground or you can keep them up. So it can be here. And push back. Focus on your breath right now. Stretching out shoulders, hips. Give me one more. Nice. Oh, just kind of want to stay down here. All right, next move we're going to stay down on the ground. It's going to be a little bit more dynamic than what we just did. You're going to take your knee, drive it in, and extend back into down dog and push your leg up to the sky. You're going to alternate knee drive and push down into down dog leg out to the sky. Again, you do not have to move quickly. I just want you to work on your range of motion and stretching. Beautiful. Your breath, inhale and exhale. Give me one more. You can walk your hands up, walk your feet to your hands. Deep breath in. Now that was a great stretch. Great mobility work today. Recovery day. Make sure to give yourself some positive feedback. Talk nicely to yourself. Good job today.